every single line item you add to your estimate has a click for detail button. Use those like clockwork. Every time that you use a line item, you're going, man, last time I added this, the adjuster said it was a cost of doing business. Or last time I added this, they said it was included in this other line item. Add a line item note explaining why you're using this line item and inform the adjuster of why it's legitimate and necessary. We're not adding any fluff to our estimates. We're not adding anything that we're not doing anyways, right? Every action in Xactimate on a job is actually going to be a line item in the program. So use that click for detail to your advantage. And this goes back to things like cleanup, supervisory hours, moving contents out of the way so that you can do the work, those kinds of things. It even can go into overhead and profit. Why are you adding overhead and profit on just one trade on this estimate? Well, it's because Xactware says that no overhead and profit is baked into the estimate for the general contractor. Yes, it's there for the subcontractor, but look, I subbed out this work. I'm overseeing this job as a restoration professional so that the homeowner doesn't have to do that. The homeowner doesn't have to worry. Are they adhering to IICRC or OSHA or code or, or any of the requirements for the job? The homeowner doesn't have to have on that take on that liability. That's me as a general contractor. So there's a lot of this cost of doing business stuff that floats around our industry that contractors swallow. And I think if you have the confidence to say, I'm using ExactMate, it's not included in the line item. What I'm asking for is completely necessary because I don't work for free, Mr. Adjuster. You for sure don't work for free. I don't work for free. I don't work for the insurance company. There is no cost of doing business when using Xactimate. Every action is a line item and it's defined by the click for detail. So as long as you can describe why you need that line item and get the homeowner on your side and say, look, this is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm cleaning your property properly. I'm overseeing the job with the project manager properly. And I'm asking for overhead and profit because I'm a general contractor and I don't work for free. I'm actually taking on the liability for you and making sure that this job is done up to industry standards. Those are the kind of conversations that a homeowner could get involved and help you with that adjuster as well.